Hi, this is Reverend K. And once again, welcome to Fresh for our prayer ministry where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. I just listened to a very powerful um, testimony of a deacon who had a dream. And in the dream, it was on a Friday, and in the dream, an angel of the Lord came into his room and asked and inquired of him that, where is your pastor? And the deacon in the dream answered the angel and said, I don't live with my pastor. And the angel of the Lord said to the um, deacon, that I've been sent by God to tell you to inform your pastor that in your church of 316, only three people are prepared for the return of Jesus Christ. Only three people are truly Christians. The rest of them, the Lord Jesus does not know them. The rest of them, the Lord Jesus. In a church of 316, only three are known by God. Only three know God and Jesus knows them. The rest are just churchgoers. This was a very, very profound um, dream and revelation. And I just came, when I heard this, I realized that people should stop being religious. People should stop being churchgoers and begin to have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The question is that, do you know Jesus and does Jesus know you? It is two different things. It is one thing where you may think that you know Jesus, but the Lord Jesus Christ does not really know you because your lifestyle and your secret sin and the things you do in secrecy does not please him and therefore he does not know you and that's why a time will come the bible says that people will come to him and say didn't we prophesy in your name didn't we cast out demons in your name in your name we did great things and he will say depart from me you workers of iniquity i know you not and they'll be cast into the into the lake of fire into hell why because in spite of the fact that they were professing and confessing and publicly pretending to be Christians secretly they were doing all sort of sin sins and living their all their own ungodly lives in the in the cover of oh mercy and grace oh God's mercy oh God's grace in the church of 316 only three and yes still people will be going to the church giving tithe offering praise time worship time they will be dancing and all that but they think they know God but the Lord God does not know them. The question I pose to you and I is that, do you know Jesus? Do you personally know Jesus? And the question is that, does he know you? Does Jesus know you and know you by your name? Are you really redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus? Are you heavily bound? Are you rapture ready? If he comes today, will you be rapturable? Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Are you living a consecrated life to please him? Or publicly, like the Pharisees and Sadducees, you are a hypocrite. Letting people know that you are a Christian. Secretly, you are filled with what? Sins and immorality and all sort of mess in your life. The question is that, when Jesus Christ comes back, would you be rapturable? Would you be ready for the soon return of Jesus? If you or I am to die today or you are to die today, where would your soul rest? Where would you be? Where would you be? And this is very, very important that we have to know whether we know Jesus and does Jesus also knows us. Do you know Jesus and does Jesus Christ know you? A church of 316, only three, only three were known by Jesus. It is like when it is time for election and people campaign for Obama or Hillary or D Donald Trump or any presidential candidate and they make so much noise to get people to vote for the person into office. However, when the president goes to the White House, the president personally does not know those individuals, even though that those individuals knows them. But the person, the president, does not know them. So even if they tell themselves, I'm going to the White House because I campaigned for the president, you say, I'm sorry. Even though you made so much noise about me, I don't personally have a relationship with you and I cannot invite you into my White House, into the White House, because I don't know you. And yes, the person will say, but I made, I went to every place, every house is just posting your posters. I placed your posters in my car. I was campaigning for you. He says that, yes. You knew me, but I don't know you. In the same way, many are doing the work of Jesus. Many are making noise about Jesus. But the Lord Jesus does not know them. 
they are busy body about Jesus, but Jesus does not know them because they don't have a personal relationship. For the Bible says that those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the true children of God. The question is that, are you led? Are you directed? Are you guided? Are you instructed by the Holy Spirit? And are you living a holy and a consecrated life to please Him? And are you rapture ready? Please, let us be warned that the soon return of Jesus Christ is very, it's, it's at hand. And we have to do everything possible to get ourselves ready share this message and be warned to be forewarned is to be forearmed may god bless you hi i don't know about you but before today comes to an end expect a miracle expect a breakthrough expect a massive turnaround of event in the next 24 hours may the lord god almighty come through for you in the name of jesus i believe that before today comes to an end the lord will perform a miracle for you have great expectation and if we serve a miracle working god a promise keeper a great deliverer if we serve a god who supplies all our needs according to his riches in glory then i come into agreement with you that in the next 24 hours let there be a miracle in the next 24 hours receive a testimony in the next 24 hours receive a good news in the next 24 hours let the angel of remembrance remember you let the angel of miracle bring your miracle let the angel of break to cause you to break through let the angel of deliverance deliver you let the angel of restoration bring restoration into your life in the next 24 hours i see somebody receiving a, go a phone call receiving an email saying that you've received that job i see somebody coming out of the court winning that court situation i see somebody's husband returning back home i see somebody receiving some financial blessing i see somebody being healed instantly i see god turning situations around for your good in the next 24 hours let there be a miracle let there be signs and wonders let there be breakthrough let there be divine favors let doors that were shut before you begin to be open in the next 24 hours may the lord do the impossible in your life and show you that he is the god of abraham isaac and jacob the god of impossibility with god all things are possible so in the next 24 hours let god visit you and your family in the name of jesus thank you god bless i you. command the fire of god to scatter the plans of witchcraft to destroy my marriage in the name of jesus let the fire of god consume it to ashes every seed of argument misunderstanding hate unforgiveness lack of communications quarrel and disrespect planted in my marriage let the the fire of God burned down into ashes every invisible wall separating me from my spouse in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the fire of God consume into ashes every evil mask covering my marital glory in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume every bad behavior that is meant to destroy my marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the fire of God consume every witchcraft activity that has turned my spouse against me in the name of Jesus. Catch fire and be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Every evil tree that the devil has planted in my marriage die by fire in the name of jesus amen i command the fire of god to consume into ashes the spirit of separation and divorce from my marriage in the name of jesus let the fire of god consume and destroy any charms and spells controlling my spouse against me in the name of jesus i release my spouse from every spells and charms by fire and by force in the name of jesus i command all consuming fire to I consume all consuming fire to God to burn into ashes every black magic being done to destroy my marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let all let all consuming fire of God burn into ashes every invisible barrier that has been erected to separate my husband and me in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume and scatter every witch, wizard, controlling and manipulating my marriage in the name of Jesus. Let them perish by fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft and black magic operating against my marriage is destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God consume every unclean spirit operating on assignment against my marriage in the name of Jesus. This book is an emergency marriage book to help you rescue your marriage from the spirit of divorce and separation. It contains urgent prayers and biblical wisdom used to reverse the course of divorce and separation in your marriage. This book will teach you how to fight aggressively through fasting, prayers, and the word of God to shut the gate of divorce and separation and prevent it from destroying your marriage and family. Before you give up on your marriage, read this book and see if God, through the help of the Holy Spirit, will not turn your situations around for the better in your marriage and family. Your marriage shall be restored speedily in Jesus' name. Have faith in God. You may download this book in digital ebook format or physical copy from our website at www.freshfireprayer.com 
or from our Facebook page. You may also join us on the prayer line Tuesdays 10 p.m. Eastern Time and Fridays 11 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join in by calling 563-999-3626 or dial 641-715-3655. The access number is 950-014-POUND. Or you may listen live by Facebook. Just search Cave Watching. Join us on internet radio at our Blog Talk Radio at www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku dash bwache. That's www.blogtalkradio.com slash kwaku dash b-o-a-c-h-i-e. If you're in Europe, join us on our prayer line live by visiting our Blog Talk Radio site at www dot blogtalkradio.com slash kwaku dash b-o-a-c-h-i-e or visit our Facebook page. If you're in London, the time is 3 a.m. Wednesdays and 4 a.m. Saturdays. Europe, it is 4 a.m. on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 5 a.m. If you're in the area, you may visit our Sunday service from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. The location is at County Road Shopping Center, 1948 County Road, District Heights, Maryland, 20747. You may also join us on the prayer line Tuesdays 10 p.m. Eastern Time and Fridays 11 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join in by calling 563-999-3626 or dial 641-715-3655. The access number is 950-014-POUND. Or you may listen live by Facebook. Just search Cave Watching. Join us on internet radio at our Blog Talk Radio at www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku dash bwache. That's www.blogtalkradio.com slash kwaku dash B-O-A-C-H-I-E. If you're in Europe, join us on our prayer line live by visiting our Blog Talk Radio site at www.blogtalkradio.com slash K-W-A-K-U dash B-O-A-C-H-I-E or visit our Facebook page. If you're in London, the time is 3 a.m. Wednesdays and 4 a.m. Saturdays. Europe it is 4 a.m. on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 5 a.m. If you're in the area, you may visit our Sunday service from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. The location is at County Road Shopping Center, 1948 County Road, District Heights, Maryland, 20747. Come and join us at the Consuming Fire Deliverance Conference from April 6th through 8th with host pastor Reverend K. Boache. On Friday, the conference will start from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. On Saturday, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And on Sunday, from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. The conference will be held at the Doubletree Hotel at 160 Ted Turner Drive Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia. The benefits of attending this event will be deliverance from demonic oppression, spiritual warfare prayers, breaking curses and yokes, marriage restorations, and many more. Come and experience the power of God and please invite family and friends. For more information, please dial the numbers on the flyer or send an email to ookaku55 at gmail.com.